5 p.m. recap. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Today is Thursday, April 8, 2021. Al Jazeera report. U.S.-Mexico border sees 71% increase in migrant crossings. More than 172,000 migrants were apprehended along the United States' southern border with Mexico during the month of March, according to official records released on Thursday, a 71% increase from February. According to data released by Customs and Border Protection, CBP, 569,879 migrants have been apprehended during the first three months of this year, already more than during all of 2020, when 458,068 migrants crossed into the U.S. Deutsche Well Report. Gun Control. Biden announces executive action to combat U.S. gun violence. U.S. President Joe Biden on Thursday announced six executive actions that his administration will take in an effort to fight the epidemic of gun violence that has gripped the country for decades. Biden called gun violence a national health crisis that cost the United States not only the lives and futures of its citizens but also an estimated $280 billion, 235 billion euros, each year. This is an epidemic. For God's sake. And it has to stop. Biden said at an outdoor press conference at the White House. CNN report. Homeowners saw their property taxes take a big leap last year. Homeowners across the U.S. saw their property tax bill get significantly more expensive last year. Total property taxes levied on single-family homes in 2020 were $323 billion, up 5.4% from the year before, the biggest average increase in four years, according to an analysis of 87 million U.S. homes by ATTOM Data Solutions, a property information firm. The average property tax for a single-family home was $3,719, up 4. Al Jazeera report. DR Congo. Dozens detained in Beni during anti-UN protests. Police in the eastern Congolese city of Beni have detained dozens of people and fired live rounds to disperse protesters demanding the departure of the United Nations peacekeeping mission for its failure to stop the bloodshed in the region, according to local authorities and witnesses. Hundreds of young people have been protesting for days in several cities in Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC. Angry that the UN mission, known as MINUSCO, has not prevented a wave of civilian killings by armed groups. Fox report. U.S. policy toward Russia is, dumb, Lavrov says. Russia's top diplomat on Thursday described U.S. policy toward Moscow as, dumb, and warned that his country will retaliate if Washington imposes new sanctions. Asked about the prospect of new sanctions from Washington. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that all attempts to pressure Russia are bound to fail. He described U.S. policy on Russia as deadlocked and even dumb, emphasizing that past rounds of U. Fox report. South Carolina sheriff emotional recalling doctor, family slain by ex-NFL cornerback Philip Adams. A South Carolina sheriff delivered an emotional remembrance during a news conference after a former NFL cornerback killed five people, including a prominent local doctor and two children, and then himself. Dr. Leslie was a pillar in this community with what he was able to give back to this community. He was a longtime doctor, York County Sheriff Kevin Tolson said Thursday afternoon. He had treated me in the past at his clinic. He was very involved with law enforcement. Fox report. Northern Ireland leaders call for calm after night of rioting. Rioters set a hijacked bus on fire and hurled gasoline bombs at police in Belfast in at least the fourth night of serious violence in a week in Northern Ireland, where Brexit has unsettled an uneasy political balance. Youths threw projectiles and petrol bombs at police on Wednesday night in the Protestant Shankill Road area, while rioters lobbed bricks, fireworks and petrol bombs in both directions over the concrete peace wall separating the Shankill Road from a neighboring Irish nationalist area. CNN report. Navajo Nation calls on restoration of Bears Ears National Monument during Deb Holland visit to Utah. More than three years after the Bears Ears National Monument in Utah was drastically shrunk in size, tribal leaders and activists are hopeful that Secretary of Interior Deb Holland would soon recommend its restoration. Holland is visiting the Utah Monument on her first trip as the new Interior Secretary this week. 
She arrived on Wednesday for three days of meetings and hikes in the sprawling region rich in red rock canyons, cliff dwellings and numerous archaeological sites. CNN Report Hungarian FM questions EU's freedom of expression after coach is sacked over homophobic and xenophobic comments. Hungary's Minister of Foreign Affairs has questioned the European Union's freedom of expression after a Hungarian goalkeeping coach was sacked by his German club over homophobic and xenophobic comments. German Bundesliga club Hertha Berlin sacked goalkeeping coach Jolt Petri on Tuesday following comments the 54-year-old made about migrants and same-sex marriage in an interview with Hungarian newspaper. Magyar Nemzet. Deutsche Well Report. Israel rejects ICC's Palestinian war crimes probe. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Thursday that his government would not cooperate with an international criminal court probe into possible war crimes committed in the Palestinian territories. Netanyahu's office said in a statement that the Hague-based court had no authority to open an investigation against Israel. Netanyahu is facing his own legal woes in the shape of a corruption case. Israel is committed to the rule of law and will continue to investigate any charges against it regardless of the source. And it expects the tribunal to refrain from violating its authority and sovereignty, the statement said. BBC Report. COVID patient receives world's first living donor lung transplant. The patient received lung segments from her son and husband after her organs failed because of damage caused by the coronavirus. Doctors in Kyoto hope she will make a complete recovery within months. Waiting lists for full lung transplants, where the organ is provided by donors who have died, are very long in Japan and elsewhere. The procedure at Kyoto University Hospital took around 11 hours to perform. BBC Report. Italian man, offered €10,000 in Bitcoin to Mamex partner. The suspect is accused of offering €10,000, £8,700. $12,000, in Bitcoin in return for the attack, which would have paralyzed the woman, police said. He was traced by Italian authorities and the EU's crime agency and the woman was unharmed. The would-be attacker has not been identified. It looks like the plot of a contemporary thriller, Italy's postal and communication police said in a statement. The suspect, a 40-year-old IT expert from the northern region of Lombardy, is alleged to have gone on the dark web some months after his relationship broke down in July 2020. Deutsche Well Report. Troop of monkeys escaped German wildlife park. 25 Barbary macaques escaped from a zoo in the German town of Lofingen on Thursday for several hours. The troop of monkeys were first spotted roaming around a local neighborhood. Zoo employees then tried to capture the macaques. But according to police they initially escaped and their handlers then lost sight of the group. By early evening on Thursday, the runaway primates were located and secured. Fox Report. Florida man drives lawnmower across state on mission to help Habitat for Humanity. A Florida man set out on a mission to raise money for Habitat for Humanity on Thursday. But Chip Hawthorne, who works at Main Street Mower in Winter Garden, didn't resort to any common method of fundraising. Rather, he's driving across the entire state in his lawnmower to raise money in support of the West Orange Habitat for Humanity, Inc. Chapter. What's more, the entire 130-mile journey dubbed Mawathon is being live-streamed. CNN Report. What it takes to protect the world's most endangered zebra. The Grevy's zebra, covered in white and black stripes may not look dissimilar to the common zebra. But there are clear differences, especially to someone like Sheila Funnel, who has dedicated her life's work to its protection. This subset is the largest of the three zebra species found in Africa, and can be identified by stark white bellies, round ears and brown muzzles. But due to hunting and land degradation, they also happen to be the most endangered zebra on the continent, according to the African Wildlife Foundation. BBC Report Norway death. Police ask how Oslo man's body lay in flat for nine years. The man had been in his 60s and no one reported him missing. Police told Norwegian broadcaster NRK. Police found the body in December last year in an apartment block in the capital, Oslo. According to NRK, the body was found when a caretaker needed to enter the apartment for maintenance work. 
Police say milk cartons and letters in the home suggested that the man had died in April 2011. Oslo Police Inspector Greta Lien Metlid told NRK, We have thought a lot about it. My colleagues and people who have worked with this for many years. Quote. Al Jazeera report. George Floyd died due to lack of oxygen, not drugs. Doctor. George Floyd died of a lack of oxygen from being pinned to the pavement with a knee on his neck. A medical expert testified at former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin's murder trial on Thursday, rejecting Chauvin's defense theory that drug use and underlying health problems killed Floyd. A healthy person subjected to what Mr. Floyd was subjected to would have died, said prosecution witness Dr. Martin Tobin, a lung and critical care specialist at a veterans hospital and medical school in Chicago. Thank you for watching 5 p.m. recap. To be notified, you can subscribe our channel and activate the bell.